right, we're back. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. Step number 28. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get caught, but uh, the, there was some film or, or video missing. We had some accident. So I'm not sure, but I think we're going to cool. gloss over 24 to 27, which is just the just the assembly of the uh, axles and attaching to the chassis. So I, I think I got some of it, but you know, we'll, we'll we'll say that's done. All right. Now I, you can see here I did seven of the eight shocks. Right, Caleb? Yeah. Okay. We did. So um, I saved one to do with you guys. So here's the parts. We got the F4, F5, and the F6. <laughs> Those yeah. are all function keys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have the bolt. These are non-oil filled shocks, so not the greatest, but you know they come with the kit. So you put the bolt through. While he's constructing, a little, little bit of grease. I'd like to say that. The furthest part we've gone is to step 32. No, we didn't do 32. 27. That's the one we're continuing on. No. Well, yeah, we're on 28 now. All right. So you still got me, right? Yep. Okay. So put a little bit of grease on and the tubing that it comes with. Put the tubing on. And then there's a nut that goes on the end. Just like that. All the way down. These are quick and easy. Then you put the spring on. Put the spring on. You put the F4. Uh, four. Four. Take a screwdriver. And you... Screw it in. Can you get... Yes. You there, right there? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so you screw that all the way. All the way in. Then we need the F6. And then we just take F6 and we just line the two nubs up that are mm -hmm. there. Yeah. There. We got it. No, like I said, these are not oil filled, so they're not the greatest. I might take that off and adjust the uh, tubing, but that's what the manufacturer has in the kit. So, like I said, we're going to go with the default at least to start all right we'll be back stop stop it yeah